everyone, hope you're all well. My name is Brogan and I run a YouTube channel under my name Brogan Tate and I do lots of travel, lifestyle and weekly vlog content so please come over and check it out, I'd love to have you. But today I'm going to be sharing my top tips and best advice for Universal Studios Hollywood. We just came back from 10 days in California, we had an absolutely amazing time and we spent two days at Universal Studios Hollywood, we explored City Walk, we we did every ride, every show, so I feel pretty experienced to be able to talk to you about everything you need to know before you go. So first of all, the best thing you can do is get your tickets in advance from Attraction Tickets Direct. Not only will this save you time and money on the gate, but it just means that you've got those tickets and you don't have to worry. There's like a red carpet, the Universal Studios Hollywood entrance is very grand and gorgeous, especially after you've gone through security and you're about to go in. The worst thing that you want to do is stand there queuing, so make sure that you get those tickets and there are loads of different packages available on Attraction Tickets Direct, so check it out, decide how many days you wanna go for. You could do some things in a day, we felt like a day and a half, two days was perfect for us, but you can have a little look and um, see what works for you. My next piece of advice leads nicely onto that. We actually had express passes, which are essentially a way to skip the queues. Express passes can be bought via Attraction Tickets Direct, and I highly recommend them. We loved having these, it meant that we didn't have to wait for any think which was a huge perk I actually had them in a little lanyard which I'll talk about in a bit but Express Pass is fantastic you can also look into a VIP experience which is another uh, package that Attraction Tickets Direct sell a VIP experience gives you the option of having a VIP tour guide lunch that's included uh, you've got skipping the queues and uh, pre uh, organized seating areas so like you have special viewing areas for some of the shows basically quite a few perks come with the VIP experience something I'd love to do in the future but you can check it all out the link will be in the description below my next bit of advice is to download the Universal Studios Hollywood app the app is so good it's really handy to have this on your phone you can use the map so you can see where you're going and see where the nearest rides are things like finding out where the nearest bathrooms were was very handy handy for us but also checking wait times which is really handy so seeing which rides had what wait times and deciding where you were going to go next we really enjoyed using the app it also had things like show times especially for things like the um, studio tour and the stunt show for example so really enjoyed using the app definitely recommend downloading it in advance and getting yourself set up my next tip is to kind of familiarize yourself when you get there because there is a slightly different layout to kind of any other theme parks I've done it's got what is known as the upper lot and the lower lot and I do this on screen like this because you have to use escalators to get from the top all the way down to the bottom now you are going to want to go down there there my some of my favorite rides are down in the lower lot so it's 100% worth taking a trip down do not miss out however just note that this is a bit of a journey down here so uh, you can use the escalators and uh, it'll probably take about five to ten minutes to go down between each section but familiarize yourself with that and don't miss out on that lower lot and um, it is very clearly signposted so you can't can't miss it necessarily. It's something worth knowing before you go, um, that's for sure. Speaking of the lower lot and some of my favourite rides down there, there is a brand new ride, Jurassic World The Ride, which has just opened and we were actually there for opening day, which was so exciting. So we were one of the first people to actually ride this ride and it was amazing. If you want to have a fully immersive experience and feel like you are actually on a boat going through Jurassic World, then this ride is for you. It's got some really clever technology. There's a really epic drop at the end that you will love. Um, and you might get a little splashed, a little bit wet, but um, overall it's fantastic and 100% worth the wait. We did actually put our um, bags in lockers for this one, and I will talk about that in a minute, but don't miss this ride. It's so good loved it. Another thing you do not want to miss is the world famous Studio Tram Tour. This has been running for about 55 years and it is famous for um, good reason because you get the chance to experience some of the behind the scenes of some famous movie and TV sets. So you will spend an hour in a tram with an experienced guide who will talk you through some of the sets, show you some behind the scenes. You really get a good feel of what it's like to be on a working 
making real set in Hollywood. These are actually sets that are still used today and we learned so much. We saw some really cool things and inside the studio tour, something that's worth knowing is they actually have two experiences for King Kong and Fast and Furious. So you will do some really fun things along the way. Um, so get prepared for that. Don't miss it. It's 100% the highlight of the day for me. So make sure you dedicate some time. We actually went in the middle of the day when it was the hottest and uh, it meant that we were covered by the shade and we could just sit down and we were allowed to bring a drink on the tram tour as well. So definitely recommend doing that. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, my next piece of advice is if you are planning to um, maybe buy fizzy drinks or you want a drink that you can refill through the day obviously being in the heat in somewhere like California you do need to make sure you stay hydrated and wear comfortable shoes that's another fantastic tip comfy shoes and staying hydrated and keep applying that sun cream and look after yourself but something I really do love is to have their reusable mug we purchased this mug for $15.99 plus tax I believe and this allowed us to refill over and over every 10 minutes you could refill the cup up so my boyfriend Benji and I shared this we had basically drunk Diet Coke all day we did have some water as well in a bottle but this was just allowed us to stay hydrated and we didn't have to keep spending money on drinks this is actually a very efficient way to save um, especially if you do have a family and you know Benji and I just shared one and it worked for us perfectly we actually took it back to the parks the next day as well and to activate the cup again I think was $8.99 plus tax so really really great value for money especially if you're going for a second day I really do recommend the reusable cup. Another huge highlight for me at Universal Studios Hollywood is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It is epic here and I love seeing the castle. They've got a couple of rides here. They do a few shows. You can go into Ollivander's, the wand shop and go shopping and you really feel like you're fully immersed in the Wizarding World. But something I absolutely love and always recommend to people is to buy a butter beer. This is the famous drink that you can buy. It's not beer. It's kind of a sweet just kind of toffee flavoured drink. It is gorgeous, but it's so popular and everyone always stands and waits in a big queue. I actually found if you carry on walking past the butterbeer cart that you'll see, there is another one tucked round the corner just past Ollivander's, just before the Hogwarts Castle. It was kind of round the corner in the shade and uh, if you didn't know it was there, then you could end up just waiting in the bigger queue. So I do recommend going to that one to get your butter beer but you can get it frozen version as well by the way so they might ask you if you want normal or frozen they are basically the same thing but I prefer the frozen and you can actually buy a souvenir cup as well which I have like three or four of these now so yeah, definitely get your butter beer and take all those selfies and pictures Benji and I love taking photos of our butter beer because you can't really get it so easily in the UK so definitely get that. For some of the rides you will need to put your bag and possessions away in a locker. You can borrow a locker free for up to two hours but my tip here is that some of the lockers are small so you can actually pay if you need or want a larger locker but if you want to use it for free then take a medium or small sized bag with you for the day. We actually just share one bag between us when we do a Universal Studios Hollywood day but just consider it because if you have really bulky bags then you might have to pay for a locker. So it's really easy to use the locker system. You will pick it up when you're there, but uh, you walk in for, so for example, a ride like the Mummy, which is one of my favorites. Oh my goodness, I actually adore the Mummy. The ride it is so fun, but you do have to put all your things away because it is quite a high speed roller coaster. So you actually go up to a screen and you follow the instructions. They have different languages as well, but you follow the instructions. You use your fingerprint, you set a password and it will give you a numbered locker. You pop your things away and lock it up. And that includes things like sunglasses and kind of anything in your pockets, wallets and keys and things. So the only thing they do let me have on is my lanyard, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But just consider the size of the lockers and uh, the possessions that you bring into the park that day. But very very handy system, really great and everything was safe and secure and I do really enjoy using their locker system. So let's talk about this lanyard then. I obviously, like I said, we had express passes and with these, the tickets look like this. So we've got a Kung Fu Panda Adventure ride. This is actually more like a 3D show. It was very good actually. Uh, kids will love it, very immersive. But uh, we also have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So here are my tickets and I'm just gonna show you on the back here, this was our express passes. So these are the tickets that they scan if you choose to upgrade to these. So the best bit of advice I have for you is I actually fold them back to back. So have them 
like so and I get a lanyard. By having it in a lanyard like this it made it much easier for the um, staff member to scan it and let us in and then they let me keep this on my neck on the ride so I just had it like this and then scan it thank you very much and then we got to skip the queues. I really recommend express passes we love them and um, we got so much done so yes got that. Don't miss the shows. Something that makes Universal Studios Hollywood unique is some of their shows that they have there. So for example the uh, Studio Tram Tour like I mentioned. We also got to see Waterworld which was one of my favourite shows I've ever seen. It was unbelievably cool, perfect for somebody like Benji. I don't want to spoil it but it had jet skis and the story was very fun and there was a lot of water. We got a little bit wet. So Waterworld was one but there were two other stunt shows as well. There's an animal show where they actually have Hollywood trained animal actors and they show you how they train them and teach them to do fun things. So that was really cool. And there was another show that we saw that was all about stunts and how they create some of the magic Magic, the movie magic that you see on screen so definitely worth your time some of these shows take about 20 minutes to half an hour and you do need to arrive pretty much like 15 20 minutes beforehand obviously if you do have express passes or you're part of a VIP experience then you will have uh, the chance to go to some reserved seating areas but I do recommend that you make time for these because they are really cool and we had the best time. I almost forgot a really great tip is to make sure you dedicate a bit of time to check out City Walk. This is an area of shopping and dining that you will walk through to get to the entrance of the park. It's really great here, there is something for everyone but it's particularly lovely at night, there's loads of music, there's all sorts of things going on. We actually came out the park and went for dinner in City Walk. Uh, we had a lovely pasta dish and margaritas at Margaritaville but they have loads of options there. Blaze Pizza is a must for me. It's so good there. But you can look around some of the shops and then what we ended up doing was actually going back into the park and we watched a show on the Hogwarts Castle which was a dark against the dark arts or something along those lines that they had running for the summer so you can check out some of the evening shows as well don't miss anything that might be happening and city walk is particularly lovely at night so do make sure you check it out with all the lights and get yourself a donut and a drink and just enjoy it because it's fab so i hope this video has helped do let me know if you've been and you have any other advice for anyone else leave them in the comments below and if you're planning on taking a trip then do let me know your countdowns i'd love to find out when you're going and what you're looking for forward to most but we did have a great time and I can't wait to go back again in the future so thank you so much to Attraction Tickets Direct for having me and I will see you again in a new video hopefully very soon. I've got more tips for LA and using the Go LA card for other attractions coming up on this channel very soon so make sure you check that out and subscribe to the Attraction Tickets Direct channel and check out mine as well if you want to see more vlogs and fun adventures and uh, see more of our trip in vlog format so yeah I will hopefully see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!